No paper is more corrupt than the failing New York Times. The good news, it is failing. It won't be around too much longer. But they are really, really bad people. Donald Trump tearing into the New York Times for its reporting on women accusing Trump of touching them inappropriately. Trump's team called the article reckless and defamatory and demanded a retraction and an apology. Failure to comply, Trump's lawyer warned, would leave Trump no choice but to pursue all available actions and remedies. The candidate has made it sound like a lawsuit is imminent. It will be part of the lawsuit we are preparing against them. If Trump's lawyers do sue the New York Times, don't expect the paper to request the lawsuit be dismissed. It may be exactly what the New York Times wants. In response to Trump's lawyer, an attorney for the Times shot back. If Mr. Trump disagrees, we welcome the opportunity to have a court set him straight. Read between the lines and the New York Times seems to be saying, bring it on. Donald Trump in a court of law under oath answering all kinds of embarrassing questions about his sex life and his behavior with women. It's a process called discovery and in the end could provide a treasure trove of stories. That is, if Trump tells the truth. The Washington Post found that when Trump was deposed back in 2007 for a lawsuit he filed against a New York Times reporter, Trump lied as many as 30 times. If a lawsuit is filed in this latest case involving his accusers, legal experts say it wouldn't just be Donald Trump facing questions. Ivanka, the rest of his children, and maybe even his ex-wives could be deposed. Not to mention the growing list of women who now say Trump kissed them or put his hand up their skirt without consent. The Republican nominee continues to suggest he's been a victim of libel. What's still unclear is if Trump has realized how much a lawsuit could expose about his business and personal life. These false attacks are absolutely hurtful. To be lied about, to be slandered, to be smeared so publicly, and before your family that you love is very painful. Painful. But with a lawsuit, the burden would be on Donald Trump to prove all the claims against him are false. Randy Kay, CNN, Florida.